Although North Platte, winds 23 miles an hour, gusting to 33 miles an hour. There, the winds are kicking. So out into parts of the plains, we've got those gusty winds. And I do anticipate things will get gustier in some of these areas as we move forward in time. I'll show you when in just a moment. Uh, here's the forecast in terms of rainfall. So as we get into the afternoon here, we've got some scattered rain showers. This is going to be kind of nuisance rain for your late day drive. I don't anticipate, you know, the hydroplaning or the, the rain so heavy that you can't see anything out there on those roads. Tomorrow morning, more of the same. So Detroit to Columbus to Pittsburgh, these are areas that could be at least slowed down by some scattered rain showers. Even Saturday morning, tough one to get out of bed. You know, enjoy it, sleep in. It'll stay gloomy. You know, it's not getting light until late. And then with the cloud cover, the rain shower, Hours. You may just pull the covers back over your head and, and you know call it a few extra hours in bed. By Sunday, I think things drying out across the area, but with that pressure gradient still packed across the region, winds will be an issue for some time. So ahead, end of the weekend, headed into the weekend. Rainfall amounts, not going to be enormous. We're looking at an inch or less for most of these areas, some even less than that. You know, some more of a trace of rain, all we're expecting. Here's the wind gust forecast this afternoon. Again, gust 15 to 25 miles an hour for parts of the southern Great Lakes, uh, up towards Duluth. You could gust 25 miles an hour. Watch as we get into our Friday later in the day. Things are gustier up towards Chicago, Green Bay. And then Saturday, again, Mike, stronger winds rolling in. Places like Minneapolis, Chicago gusting to 30, 35 miles an hour. You know, then across the south, we won't be left out of the mix, okay? We've got more showers and potentially some